every now and then we have a bright idea don't we team we do and we're always looking for travel bargains aren't we we certainly are and i i found one and <laughs> it was a few weeks ago it seemed like a very easy <laughs> great deal great deal. something we couldn't pass up but now the moment of truth has arrived and what do we do, go and do? We have done a relocation of the from Toronto to Vancouver. Yay! <laughs> it looked a lot easier in the brochure <laughs> when we saw this monster. So this is our home from home for the next 14 nights. And we're going to drive it from Toronto to Vancouver. So, uh, the only thing we need to figure out, team, is w which way is Vancouver? I'm, I'm kind of leaning to the opinion it's that way. And I was thinking, Norm, that it's that way. So, what do you think? Uh, Either we're going to figure it out one way or another. <laughs> Either we can rely on GPS or we can get an old-fashioned map out and hopefully we go in the right direction. So, I hope you join us for our mammoth Canadian road trip. Toronto to Vancouver, 14 nights. Come with us and have a tour. It's based on a Ford E450. It's a 6.8 liter engine, so it has plenty of oomph and has sleeping for four, possibly six people. And it's just about 14, four meters tall. So it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's, it drives just like a car. Hi team, it looks like we're not in Portugal. No, so, we're not. So where are we today team? We are in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada. And what are we doing in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada? We have stopped to come and see the big nickel. Wow, that sounds good. Well, let's go check it out. So what I'm holding here is a little nickel. And what we have come to see is a big nickel. And that's a reproduction of a 1951 Canadian nickel, a five cent coin. And it commemorates the mining of nickel in Canada, in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada. This is the reverse of the big nickel coin and as you can see the monarch um, for Great Britain George and he is featured on the reverse of this 1951 reproduction of a Canadian nickel five cent coin and what you can see in the background is the super stack at Sudbury it was the largest chimney in the country of Canada and the second largest freestanding chimney in the world it was designed to raise the emissions high enough that it wouldn't damage the environment and send the pollutants high into the sky. Luckily, they've stopped using that. They have new technologies for scrubbing the pollutants and we no longer have to worry about the environment getting damaged from the nickel smelting process. So this is the super... So here we are coming into the entrance of the Dynamic Earth Museum in Sudbury to get out of the cold. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's... I'll follow you. Big nickel. What are we doing? Getting postcards? 
We're getting postcards so that we can send them to the grandkids. All right. Oh, and look at this one. It's got the perfect big nickel on. Yeah, now we do. Perfect. first lake in northern Ontario um, really impressed to still see the ice on it this is late April and um, yeah. hey it's still frozen although it, today is turning out to be a really beautiful day with blue skies and it is actually really quite warm here it is yeah we've ditched the winter coats haven't we we have and we got sunglasses on so you can tell it's warmer and we just put sweaters on because we're close to the water where the there's still a bit of ice, so it's feeling a bit cold. It is. Or cooler. So, here we can this show. This is what we're seeing here. Isn't that just beautiful? And this is very typical of a lake in Canada. And we're so blessed to have absolutely thousands of these. Yeah, and you can see all the lakeside cottages. So, where are we now, team? We are in Echo Bay. And what are we here for? We're at the home of the loony. What is the loony? The loony, I think, is the Canadian dollar. Yeah, it's the one dollar coin, and on the reverse it has a loon, a loon bird. So now everybody calls it the loony. And here we are in Echo Bay, just outside of Sault Ste. Marie. With the biggest loony I've ever seen. So here you go. Wow, just take a look at that and it was designed by a local artist and that's... It depicts a 1987 Canadian dollar. And here's the reverse side showing Queen Elizabeth II. On the reverse side, the gigantic Canadian loony in Echo Bay, Northern Ontario. 